You're still lingering like the old cologne that you wore. I still see your face in the empty frame by the door. Hi everyone, welcome back to the channel. Thank you guys so much for joining me. My name is Renata and in today's video we're going to review this beautiful dress. It is a free pattern from Vicky Sews. So if you don't know what pattern this is, meet me in the next section where we will start talking about this beautiful dress as well as my thoughts on sewing it. This project is in collaboration with Sarah of Nutty Gnomes and Crafts. So if you have not seen any of her videos, definitely check the description box down below to get links to her YouTube channel as well as her Instagram feed. She has an amazing feed, it's very inspirational. So I highly recommend you check out Sarah's channel. Now let's start talking all about this amazing dress. It is the Milan from Vicky Sews. All right, friends, let's talk about this dress. This is the Milan dress by Vicky Sews. Here is the official photo of this dress. As you guys can see, there's a beautiful ruffle over the shoulders as well as at the hem of this dress. The ruffles on the shoulders go all the way to the back. Also, there is an open cut out back with a tie and it's a very flattering silhouette. I think it would work well for many different body shapes and sizes. My height is 5 feet 9 inches. I am about 145, 46 um, pounds. I have a longer torso and I have really broad shoulders. My body frame is pretty athletic and a little lean so if you need to use that as a gauge as to how this pattern will fit on you hopefully it really helps you. So sewing this project was pretty challenging. It was challenging mainly because it's a free pattern, but it's not translated in English. So off the bat, I tried with Google Translate and then I just forgot about it. <laughs> I was like, this is not going to work. And I used most of the photos in the instructions. So the illustration does have um, good directions, but I got kind of bored doing that. So then I went on to YouTube to see if anyone else has sewn this, if there was a sew with me. So Vicky Sews does have a sew along on their YouTube channel, as well as this beautiful lady over here. I found her while searching and I used her video as a guide to complete my project. Now, I love this dress. It's just that, it is a fabric hungry pattern. Now you won't think that, but trust me, it is. Now this is a gingham fabric as you guys can see. It's from Mood and I picked up two and a half yards. I measured this and it is pretty darn close to 60 inches wide. Yeah, this ruffle sucked half of my fabric. It was just, it was definitely a fabric sock. However, it could be a user error. My table is not used that I cut on, it's our dining table. And based on the guide in the pattern instructions, everything is to cut single face. Except with, yeah, I believe with the exception of the yeah, everything is single face, if I remember correctly. No, 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 no. It was challenging. It was very challenging. And do remember, this project is completely lined. So with two and a half yards of fabric, all I got was, yeah, the dress. And that could have been in the instructions, but I neglected to read the instructions because they're not in English and I just got tired of trying to translate everything so I just went to the video and I stuck with that. <laughs> if you're interested in the sizing, I use the size 40 
and the height is 178 to 186. I'll leave that up here for you all. And that is the pattern that I downloaded. Also, you only get to download one pattern size. So if you're not that skilled with grading, it might be a little more challenging. However, that's why we're here sewing and we're challenging ourselves to do different things. Putting this pattern together after watching that video and now after sewing it, it's going to be a breeze to make. At that time, I was very stressed out and I got a little frustrated and I was sworn off never sewing any Vicky sews again because I'm losing my mind. It's not easy. I couldn't get into this skirt. <laughs> yes, this skirt, I could not get into it. You're supposed to sew the skirts up on both seams and then add the facing. So I did that and I tried it and I couldn't get in. I don't have big hips. My waist is about 31, but I don't have big hips or anything like that. But this skirt portion could not go up on me. So in aid as to not go completely insane <laughs> with this project, I added a um, invisible zipper, a nine inch invisible zipper to this skirt. And that's how I did it and it's lined and it looks really good and it's, it's really pretty on the inside. I will take some photos and I have hopes of completing a blog so if it, the blog is complete with the photos I will leave a link down below. But I just don't know how anyone can fit into this without having a zipper. I'm pretty sure there's no direction as to adding a zipper to this skirt. I could be wrong, but guys, I did not read the instructions. I just I just went at it. I totally winged it. So the outcome is this dress, but let me just show you the zipper. So this is where I added the zipper right here. And I think it looks pretty good. It doesn't look bad or anything like that. Also an addition that I added is this elastic here. So I created this casing because after putting this on and ready to walk out the house to get my photos taken, there was this huge gap here. It wasn't too bad, but it just was really gappy. And I, I just couldn't take my pictures like that. So I added the casing and I went under the the lining yeah so i went under the lining and then i inserted my elastic there i stitched it right by the zipper uh, vertically and then continued running it all the way through i had my hand in between of my main fabric and my lining fabric and then i stitched that as well on the seam clipped everything and it's still clean inside and the elastic is there doing its job holding the skirt really snug to my back and I think those are all the things that I really wanted to mention oh also the skirt is definitely really short so initially after watching my instruction video <laughs> I decided to extend the skirt pattern so that skirt piece of this dress i've added two and a half inches to it just so that it's a better length for me and how i feel comfortable i don't wear too many mini skirts so this length worked out really well for me another thing that i should mention is this is um, single and you might want to face this if your fabric has a really heavy contrast from the main fabric to the wrong side. I would normally do that, however this fabric is light enough that it doesn't really cause you to be distracted if it blows up like this. And then the armhole is finished with a bias binding. So guys, that is everything that I did with this beautiful dress. Again, this project is in collaboration with Sarah of Nutty Gnomes. Let's jump to the 360. You can see this dress in all its glory. I really hope you like it. Please let me know what you think. 
and yeah as well as let me know your thoughts on the fit of this project Watch out. they said i won't see you come in bounce out for sure won't blink out we're standing face to face and i'm as i to know ben you'll come out direction i get in ahead of myself you're smiling cause you know you got my attention now it's up to me you're looking at me and i can't help stare right there right there i'm coming for you so be patient dear just stay right there you're looking at me and i can't help stare right there right there i'm coming for you so be patient dear just stay right there Be falling for you. Jaws on the floor. You got that something I can't explain. And I'm as I to know, Ben, you'll come out of reaction. I get in ahead of myself. You're smiling, cause you know you got my attention. Now it's up to me. You're looking at me, and I can't help stare. Right there, right there. I'm coming for you, so be patient. Did you stay right there? Okay friends, so there you have it. That was the 360 of the Milan dress by Vicky Sos. I love how it turned out in the end. There was a lot of issues and like I keep saying, it could totally be a, a user error or my personal like quirks and how I like things to be done. But overall, I really like this pattern. Would I make it again? I am thinking I will, but there are a few things I would definitely definitely change. I might want to make this a little bit longer or add some tears to it. I think it would be really pretty in that sort of shape. I do like the back detail. It's beautiful. And right now with the sizing, the fit is perfect. I just know that I'm going to be adding a zipper to the side. Now, if you guys are aware of the pattern instructions and you know that there is a zipper included, please let me know. I'm just too lazy right now to go and check the pattern instructions. I'm just going to enjoy the beauty of this really fantastic dress. And I'm going to say thank you so much for watching this video. Don't forget to head over to Sarah's lovely YouTube channel. And if you're coming from Sarah's channel, thank you guys so much for joining me. I hope that you like what you see and consider subscribing to my channel. Regular viewers of my channel, please head over to Sarah and let her know that I sent you. Thank you guys for watching. Have a wonderful day and I'll see you on another upload. Bye. Push you away and we're done just like that. Something about you is pulling me back. And I'm